for being here, and I'll never turn it over to Senator Rubio. Thank you, Governor. And, uh, you know, for everybody standing here, this is, uh, again, another troubling and, and tragic incident for, for me personally. Uh, FIU is home. I've been an adjunct professor here for 10 years. I know the tremendous amount of pride and excitement that exists about this project. Ironically, it's a project designed for safety. We lost a student last year crossing that road behind us. And it's also going to be a signature project, one that people would identify with the school and with this community. And uh, one, of its, one of a kind in terms of its engineering design, just, I believe it was just Saturday, where it was unveiled to tremendous amount of excitement and pride. It was one of those things people would always see and remember the school about. So to see it in, on the ground there today and underneath it, the, the lives of those who have lost their lives as a result of this and those who have been injured, it's just so tragic. We, we, are, we recognize that even as we speak to you now, there are families whose hearts are being broken uh, by the, either the news or the thought that a loved one has perished in something like this. Um, I can tell you at the federal level, and, and uh, had an opportunity to speak to the Secretary of Transportation before being on the plane, that the federal agencies are already here, both OSHA and the um, National Transportation Safety Board will be conducting an exhaustive review and the one thing that we do owe the people of the country and the people of this community because this is part of this project is federal funding uh, through what's called the tiger grant that was passed down through for this project that uh, we everyone took great pride in we deserve to know and the public deserves to know and the families of those who have been hurt and who lost their lives deserve to know what went wrong and that's the one thing everybody should be rest what should rest assured of these people that are going to be doing these engineering studies will tell us what went wrong and that won't provide any comfort to the families who lost a loved one, but it will prevent something like this from ever happening again because we learn from those things. There will be an exhaustive that will give details on an engineering and scientific level as to what the errors were and what led to this catastrophic collapse. Of that, you can rest assured. That work has already begun. I'd be remiss if I didn't say, and, and I, I know this has deeply affected the president of this institution. Mark Rosenberg happened to be in Washington when this happened. We were on the same plane coming down. We rode over from the airport. I know this has been difficult on him and on everybody here at FIU and, and, um, and, so, and, and the first responders. We, they're one of a kind uh, with their gear on, trying to get in there till the last second, trying to figure out if there's anybody who they can save and risking their own safety in the process. So we thank them for the work they are doing and will be doing in the days and hours to come. Thank you.